Lesson 4. These thoughts do not mean anything. They are like the things I see. Hi there. What if I told you that you don't have to believe all the thoughts crossing your mind? In fact, what if I told you that these thoughts don't actually mean anything, as they aren't your real thoughts at all, but merely obscure something more beautiful and blissful lying just beneath the hectic surface of your mind? Let's take another important step in our training with Lesson 4 of A Course in Miracles. These thoughts do not mean anything. They are like the things I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place. Today's lesson is a bit different from the first three. Begin by observing the thoughts that come and go in your mind for about a minute, regardless of their nature, whether they're happy, sad, mundane, or profound. Then apply today's idea to them. These thoughts do not mean anything. They are just like the things I see around me. These thoughts do not mean anything. They are like the things I see in this room. These thoughts do not mean anything. They are like the things I see on this street. These thoughts do not mean anything. They are like the things I see from this window. These thoughts do not mean anything. They are like the things I see in this place. If we are already aware of unhappy thoughts, we can use them for the application of today's idea, which may reveal how powerful these exercises are in providing brilliant insights on our negative thoughts. However, similar to the exercises we did in the last three days, we must avoid selecting only the thoughts that we perceive as bad. We may indeed find that all these thoughts are a mixture, and it's not accurate to label them as good or bad. This is why they do not mean anything. They are merely passing through, like clouds drifting across the sky. Do not be afraid to use good thoughts as well as bad. None of them represents your real thoughts, which are being covered up by them. Let's be specific in applying today's lesson. For instance, we can say, This thought about my job does not mean anything. It is like the things I see in this room. This thought about my ex does not mean anything. It is like the things I see on this street. This thought about the argument I had with my friend does not mean anything. It is like the things I see from this window. This thought about feeling hurt does not mean anything. It is like the things I see in this place. This exercise is important and will be repeated throughout the course in various forms. We're training our minds to separate the meaningless from the meaningful, recognizing the meaningless as external and the meaningful as internal. This process also helps us learn to distinguish what is similar and what is different. Our thoughts, whether positive or negative, don't define our true self. They are simply obscuring our real thoughts, which are deeper, more profound, and meaningful. We can apply this practice specifically to thoughts we recognize as particularly harmful, and we'll find it immensely useful to use it in this way. However, let's not neglect the practice as it's presented today, applying the idea to the random thoughts that cross our mind. If you're new to this kind of practice, don't dwell on it for too long, just about a minute or so is enough. If you spend too much time on it, you might become pointlessly preoccupied, as the lesson warns. Suspending judgment can be particularly challenging when dealing with what we perceive as our own thoughts. Therefore, limit repeating these exercises to only three or four times a day. Remember, there's no rush. We will revisit them later in the course. These thoughts do not mean anything. They are like the things I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place. Isn't it a liberating idea? Have you ever considered what it would be like to be free from believing all those random thoughts that constantly cross our minds? In this video series, we will explore the concept that our thoughts impact us, influencing us in ways that are sometimes obvious and sometimes subtle. However, today's lesson teaches us that these thoughts do not mean anything. 
How can we reconcile these two ideas? Throughout the course, we will learn there is power in recognizing the thoughts that stem from the ego and those from our true self. Our responsibility lies in deciding which thoughts to believe and in calling for a shift in perception. We don't need to suppress or repress, but rather, we can release those ego-based thoughts, creating space for more meaningful and spiritually aligned thinking. We will discover that we possess the power to choose, in each holy instant, whether to align ourselves with thoughts of love and forgiveness rather than the fear-based thought system of the world. Perhaps even more importantly, we will learn about the power we have in deciding whether to identify ourselves with our ego or with something that transcends it. But the goal isn't just to grasp these concepts intellectually, which is relatively easy. Our aim is to turn this new mindset into a habit. That's exactly why we're engaging with these lessons every day. You're doing great! See you tomorrow for another insightful lesson. Quick reminder, if you haven't yet watched the introduction to this video series, make sure to check it out as it lays the foundation for our journey together. Simply click on the video link that will pop up on your screen shortly. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.